I've come to beg you, please, and listen to me kindly. Please do not get married. Hello, everyone. I want to welcome you to another video today. And this video today, I've come to beg you. I've come to beg you, please, and listen to me kindly. Please do not get married. Do not get married at all. No matter who tells you to get married, please do not get married. Do not get married. I want to beg you again, please do not get married. Why I'm saying this is um, because marriage is not for some people and marriage is for some people. And I kindly beg you, do not get married. You are the kind of a person who is angry, who whenever that you see a sock that is uh, on the floor and it should have been in the dirty clothes basket and you cannot pick it up for your partner, for your wife, for your spouse, for your husband, please do not get married. <laughs> if you're the kind of person who you know yourself that you cannot even share a piece of bread if you only have one piece of bread and you have a sister a brother a friend who does not have and you cannot share it with them you'd rather eat yourself and they die please do not get married stay single <laughs> because marriage is not for the selfish it's not for the self-centered i am here again to beg if you know you're the kind of person who can keep quiet <laughs> 24 hours and you do not want to talk to anybody, please do not get married. So this video today, it is for get, begging people not to get married. And I want to welcome you to subscribe to Karaoke Moment. Karaoke Moments is a channel where we discuss life conversations. Life conversations that happen, things that happen in our lives. And we have a tagline that we believe, life is a journey, you walk in it. And as I say today, we are begging you, our viewer, our subscriber, not to get married. If you have the following characteristics, you're an angry person. You are someone who any little thing irritates you. You know the way we say even when uh, a fly passes across you, you start cursing. Oh, what kind of a silly fly? What kind of? It is going to be very difficult for you to get married because you'll be having someone else in your space in your life who is your husband or your wife and who will be irritating you because that other person, who, your husband or your wife, is not you. They are bound to irritate you. They are bound to get into your space. They are bound to step onto your toes. <laughs> they are bound to say things the way you wouldn't want to, to chew food. <laughs> the way you wouldn't want them to chew to, uh, you know, even use a toothpaste from the middle and maybe you're the kind who wants it to start from the bottom. If you are an angry person, please do not get married. I want to beg you and beseech your masses today. Do not get married. Just remain single. I have been single and now I am married. So I know the difference of the two. <laughs> if you're the kind of person who you do not know how to generate joy, the kind of a person who you are expecting your husband or your wife to give you joy and to make you happy, please do not get married. Yes, I mean it. You have to be able to generate joy and to bring happiness to yourself, to radiate happiness so that you can be able to radiate to the other person. But if you're the kind of a person who you always want people around you to make you happy, to generate heat, to generate warmth for you. Um, as you wait there, you're not rekindling, you know, you're not uh, sustaining the fire to burn in a friendship, in a brother-sister relationship, even for your parents. You're the kind who is always waiting to receive warmth and to receive and receive without stretching your hands to give. Please, today, change your mind. Do not get married. Remain single. You know, um, today I'm in this field and I I'm walking, I'm looking at the beauty of an empty field and this field, it's very fast. 
very, very vast, very huge. And when I was looking at it, it ministered to me. I'm out alone just to think about life. And in this perspective, in the perspective of marriage, marriage is as empty as this vast field. And marriage, sometimes we think it is easy, but I'm going to advise the watcher, the viewer, the listener today of this video. Marriage is hard work. Marriage is works. Marriage is dedication. Just like a farmer will have this vast land. And for example, this land, they grow wheat here. Or it's a plantation of uh, maize. Or maybe it's a plantation of uh, potatoes. Or it's a plantation of uh, maybe beans. For a farmer to be able to harvest on this field, which is bare at the moment because the farmer has harvested. Likewise, they have to think of the best seed for the season. If in this area, for example, they do not grow uh, potatoes. If they plant potatoes and they didn't think of the season, they didn't think of the weather, they are bound to fail. Their potatoes will not yield to anything. So that is why you need to know the seed of the season. In this piece of land, which is vast, they need to know the weather. Is the weather going to support the whatever seed they want to plant? They need to have studied and to know that. That is why preparation of the land is very important. For example, in this vast land, I can tell the farmer, the owner, has had to dedicate themselves and to invest on their time to be able to prepare this as they wait for the next season, whatever they want to plant. Likewise, in marriage, you must have a seed and a desire for you to get married. It is not an institution that you're going to just jump in and think things are going to work out by themselves. You need to find out and seed yourself, become the seed as you pray for God to make the other person, your husband to be or your wife to be, to be the seed, to be able to prepare themselves for the season of marriage and to be able to start looking at marriage as doable. Just like a farmer will be having this vast land and they'll be believing in themselves that they can be able to plant maize, a plantation of maize or wheat or whatever crop they want to plant. They must believe in itself and be, believe that they can be able to do that they'll be putting in uh maybe farm products like uh fertilizers uh they plow definitely maybe machinery or some places it's manual actually we even have some cow plows that plow land but a farmer cannot wait for the season of planting for it to happen so that they plant. Likewise, in marriage, you need to plan for the season of marriage. You need to ask yourself, are you ready? So, if you're waiting for it just to happen and marriage to happen, <laughs> you know, that's like a tank twister. Like you're waiting for a man to show up, a woman to show up, you fall in love, you get married, and then when you're inside, is when you're asking, what, what are the roles of a wife? What are the roles of a, of a man? And you do not want to prepare to even know, please do not get married. Today I'm encouraging people, please do not get married. If you know you're the kind who you always want things to be done for you, you'll find even you cannot make a cup of tea for someone else. Please do not get married. Stay single so that you can make your cup of tea singly. You know, you can wake up the time you want to prepare your meal, one cup of tea, one plate of food. Marriage is not for the selfish. You need also to play a part in marriage. If you know you're the kind of a person who never forgives, you know, the ones who say, over my dead body, <laughs> I cannot forgive, please, I beg you, do not get married. Marriage is not for the unforgiving. And I know even for Christians, they'll say, oh, the Bible says to forgive seven times, 70 times. Do you know it is forgiving the same sin the same day, the 70 times, seven uh, times. Why am I saying? It is because the same Bible tells us do, in the book of Ephesians, do not let the sun go down on your anger. 
So it means this forgiving is not that you're accumulating for a whole year. You say January, you wrong me 10 times. February, 20 times. Now those are 30 times. Uh, remainder, 7 times 70 is 490. You say uh, remainder, that's 30 now, 460. Now, the same Bible in the book of Corinthians, it says, love never piles mistakes or never gives account of mistakes. Once you forgive, you forgive and forget. I know it might not be easy, but you forgive and forget and start afresh. If you know you can never forgive and you're the one who pile mistakes and count, please do not get married. This video is just for telling people do not get married if you know you have the following characteristics. Okay, so you know you're the kind of person who, when you have been wronged, you will mourn. And you'll never accept mistakes. You'll always push to the other person. Narcissistic people, even when it's a small thing you want to build up because you, you are the angel of that relationship and your husband or wife is the not angel or the bad person of that relationship, it is going to be hard. That even in a family meeting as a brother, as a sister, you're not able to say, oh yeah, I'm the one who forgot to close the door. I'm the one who forgot. So I am guilty. Please walk away you see the way i'm walking away <laughs> walk away from relationship walk away from marriage leave that man alone that son of a woman that daughter of a woman leave them for another man or for another woman don't waste their time because you will not be able to sustain marriage you know sometimes when you look at couples walking hand in hand laughing enjoyable with their children you feel like ah these ones marriage is good uh, people are just laughing every day. No, marriage has more than that. It is good. But if you know you have the characteristics of anger, the characteristics that you can't forget, forgive. Please do not get married. Do not get married. Another characteristic that is not for marriage is when you know that you still want to continue living as a single man, to continue living as a single woman. You know what? Please do not get married. I'm trying to whisper. <laughs> Please do not get married, sister. Please do not get married, brother. I'm advising you. Spare yourself the heartache because karaoke today is raw and bare knuckles. You know why it's a heartache? Because you will not be able to find such a person. A person who wants you to continue living as a single man. A person who is going to allow you to live like a single woman yet you're married. You want to continue going out with your boyfriends as a man, to continue doing the boys thing every day, every night, come home at 11. Nobody should ask you a question because this woman, you married them, they have everything. They have a house, they have a car, they have children, they have a name to yourself, they have a title. So why should, you, should they ask you where you're coming from? Listen, brother, listen very well. You do not get married. Because once you're married, you become two. And your other part is hurting when you're not there. And they'll ask you, where are you coming from? You left your office at five, one hour, two hours by seven. You're supposed to be in the house. Where did you go to? If you're a lady, <laughs> I have bad news for you. You always want to go for those meetings for girls. Even on Sunday, you want fellowship from morning to evening. You want nobody to ask you questions to continue going out. Holidays with girlfriends. He cannot ask you a question. Who are you? You know, you're the kind who asks, who is a man to ask me? He found me doing these things. You know, the best thing, do not get married. Continue doing those things freely without anybody ask you. Leave this son of a woman <laughs> alone to get another woman to marry. And vis a vis a man, if you do not want to get asked questions, please, I beg you, don't get married. Leave this daughter of another woman alone. They'll get another man. Walk away. And by the way, I'm walking away. If you do not want to get married, just walk away. Walk away. And this farmland today that I am, this vast piece of field, it has rained. It is very mucky. It is very muddy. My shoes are just getting into the soil and the... Uh, uh, stones and so it's not very comfortable to walk as I'm walking on 
this is how equivalent to marriage marriage you'll be walking sometimes on very level ground it is smooth it is laughter you feel like oh i cannot live without you you feel like where were you you're coming into my life when i'm 30 or 40 or 50. i wish i met you there before sometimes it will be so murky so soggy so wet not so nice like today it's wet isn't it and muddy that is how sometimes marriage happens there's a day that everything is like everything is falling you're shouting at each other you're not seeing things from the same point of view you're not understanding each other the finances nobody knows where you your money has gone to you're trying to balance your books of account in school that is the day your child maybe around that season around that week your child is uh, sick your mother has called they are unwell maybe your friend is unwell that is part of marriage because two shall be one isn't it so marriage just like this field the way it is uh, rainy today and dull i'm in jacket i have to break for the cold i'm stepping on muddy uh, soil is how marriage sometimes works out but you've got to remember this is just a season a season of muddy soil a season of um uncertainty a season that you're sure even this one shall come to pass and that is a time you need to synergize one another and hold on to each other very strongly again that is when the voice of doubt and negative vibes is coming and telling you oh this man is not good enough, is not um, as, as good as, you know, this woman is not good enough. She's shouty, she's what? She's not uh, the same figure. Nowadays, she's not the same. Because in marriage, you know what? There are times when you feel lovey-dovey. You're so cleansed together. And there are times when you feel like you're going to take your husband to the altar and make him like a burnt offering. You just leave them there at the altar, burnt offering, and you just go home. <laughs> There's a time also as a husband, you want to know what kind of a woman is this? This one, I can take them just to the altar, like in the Bible, in the book of um, mostly the Old Testament, wherever you used to see Moses, they would go and the old priests of that time go and uh, bring us an offering of maybe praise, an offering of burnt offering or anything. So you feel like you want to make your wife become a burnt offering and put them on the altar, like just take them away because that day, they have really really you can't even see the importance of why you got married to this woman or this man so just like this field when i'm walking i'm feeling uncomfortable i am walking on these stones i'm soaking myself in if i look at my shoes my shoes are really muddy i've even picked some pebbles some stones <laughs> because it is very heavy when i'm lifting my shoes and it is very muddy just like it's happening that's how sometimes marriage happens and you feel like it is no longer good but you know what hang in there because this is just a season so if you know you're the kind of a man or a woman who do not have the stamina to go beyond seasons you want just a season of sunshine, a season of calmness, a season of holiday, no jackets, no umbrellas, no winter coats when it's winter. You just want a good life? Tell you what, my dear sister, my dear brother, you will not find it. Don't get married. Stay single. <laughs> I know I'm talking to some single people and they're thinking this lady is just because she's married. No, I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest. And I've not even been in marriage for long, but even in my singlehood, I used to tell myself, I know I'm not married 20 years, 30 years, 50 years, the way some people maybe are married. But you know what? I used to tell myself, and it's something I used to invest myself. As I've said, the owner of this vast land has already prepared the land ready to plant. Likewise, is how I used to feel. I had to prepare myself and tell my heart on a few things that are factual. That I know I want to get married and I know I want to get married to a man. But I had to prepare myself to tell myself on what I know will happen in marriage. What I know will not happen. So prepare your heart. If you know you cannot be able just even to withstand storms and you think you just want a good time for yourself. Everything good has to happen to yourself. Please do not get married because you'll be disappointed. You will not find a level 
ground just like when it's rainy and wet this place is really muddy when you want to run quickly <laughs> you want to run quickly and make your life so easy i can't my shoes are very heavy because of carrying all the mud and the small stones that i'm picking with the soil likewise Sometimes in marriage, things will so slow you down. You wanted to buy a property, money is over. You have to replan for the second course, third course, third route of that exit of your problem where you're going to get money to do a certain thing. So it means your journey will be slowed. Just like the way my journey is slowed, my shoes are heavy and I'm not able to walk fast. In marriage, it happens. So if you want smooth life that you're always you are not able to adjust in life. There are times your spouse is sick. There are times you do not have money. There are bad businesses that may come. Your child might be in a problem or your mother. Remember now here when you get married, you have two mothers, two dads, two sisters and brothers from both sides. They become part of your family. If you don't have a big heart, you just want smooth life and you want only to favor you, please, my brother and sister, do not get married. Marriage is full of hard work you sacrifice you love more and when even the person has wronged you that is when you're even loving them more you know life is the journey walking it that in fact even the time when someone has wronged you is when you're supposed to look at them as a child of god and love them more so that is why today we are in this field to have our lessons and to look at it as a very vast uh, field so that we get our lessons just like this field is big and the farmer has already invested and they're still going to invest on the seed maybe in plants farm in plants maybe they are going to start buying fertilizer and how to farm like mostly in africa and where i come from from kenya mostly we have even we start planning for money because you need laborers if it's manual to go and plant the seeds you know they work and plant sometimes it's machine even in the same thing, we have some people with big farms, it's machine, they have to plan in advance, okay? Likewise, marriage, you must plan in advance and start preparing your heart. Marriage is not for the angry people because you have to keep on forgiving every day, severally. Marriage is not for the selfish and the selfless because it's for the selfless it's not for the selfish because you cannot just own things to yourself and keep secrets when two become one it means there are no secrets marriage is for those ones who are able to withstand storms because the storms will rise you up as a couple when the storms are there that is not the time when you look each other and feel like taking them on the altar and saying it's time to quit i want to find a better wife I want to find a better husband. No, it's for those ones with stamina. You know what? Marriage is for people who are able to generate their own happiness. Marriage is not for the moody ones, for the sad ones who are waiting for another man or for another woman to come and make them happy. No, I hear sometimes people saying, oh, I want to get married so that I can ha be happy. Sorry, I have a different theory. Be happy while you're waiting to get married. Why? Because that warmth, that happiness is what is required in marriage. Nobody is going to give you happiness in marriage 100%. It is your happiness and their happiness. You man, bring your happiness. You woman, bring your happiness. Make one big pot of happiness and that marriage is going to be better. Because also when you're warm and happy, when you're saying you're waiting for a man to make you happy, that man does not want you to empty his happiness pot. <laughs> <laughs> when you're a happy woman, I mean, and uh, you keep on saying, I want to get a, a, a man who will make me happy. I mean, vice versa. When you're a happy man and you keep unhappy man, you keep on saying, I want a happy woman who will make me happy. No woman wants you to come and drain their happiness pot. You're always gloomy, you're always moody, you're always sulking. When you're told this, you wish you were not told. When you're not told, you wish you were told. It's like a tongue tie. It's so like a tongue twister. It is like a roller coaster. <laughs> no. Learn to be happy when you're single and you'll be able to bring that uh, sing uh, singleness into happiness. If you know you cannot generate happiness, you're waiting to get married for happiness, please, my dear brother, my dear sister, you are out to be disappointed. Just like this field, the way it is blank, the way it is empty. That is how marriage comes into play. It comes empty. 
it is the two of you to keep on putting into your marriage goodies and goodness bring love bring forgiveness bring kindness bring masses bring um encouragement bring commitment whatever you bring is how your marriage is going to be it is not out there if you know you are not none of this you are always negative you are not happy you cannot forgive this video is for you please do not get married karaoke is advising you i want to thank you so much for your time and i hope you're going to find this video uh interesting and uh being able to have content that you can be able to share please share with your friends share with people so that they can be able to also benefit and continue following us up if you're not a follower at karaoke moments please subscribe turn on your notification comment and keep on sharing our video till we get to meet again with you remember life is a journey you walk in it god bless you and stay tuned in for the next video